if you made it this far, this is a 24 foot bristle. And I've got a lot of the deck and or ceiling removed here. Uh, I'm going to finish cutting what's left and uh, start grinding that surface too in prep for some new coring. If you haven't yet, go ahead and uh, like this video and subscribe. You'll get notifications as these uh, jobs progress. I appreciate it. It makes a big difference. So I'm get my gloves on and my ear protection. And get the cutter. So we got up here. Already got my line lined up or marked out. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these. something in here. I think the right way. <laughs> That's not the right way at all. So I don't know how it You see here that the flooring and everything, see this? I think that's 3 8 flooring or half inch. And this is the width that the core will squeeze to in an attempt to get the water to stop coming through and to get the stanchions up top to be sturdier. And uh, meanwhile, the same thing is going on anyways. And your leak is just continuing on down side of the boat more and more and uh, the whole boat is like that this is the F 
cabin right here. And the whole boat is like this. Um, probably most of this could have been saved a long time ago by just <laughs> using some probably some real marine caulking, not joint compound, and uh, just replacing around the around the stanchions. Basically, they were probably a little rotten. You probably could have got a, got away with a lot of uh, this headache by just taking care of things locally about a decade ago, or maybe twenty years ago, even. So, I don't know. I'm going to continue on after this is all out. I've got to. Uh, Definitely get this to dry. I'm probably gonna have to bring up some heat lamps. The heat gun. Pull out the rest of this clear out of the way. And once this dries, like I said, I can bring all this down in preparation for glass, and I'm gonna cover. Uh, Cover that with an ounce and a half of uh, fiber matting and some polyester rubber. And that by itself is going to make this quite a bit sturdier. Um, and then around all the fittings, once I've got these out, I'm going to use a little bit of uh, Kusa board or some other sort of foam, solid foam. Uh, type of coring and glass over that with the rest. Um, and the rest of this, I'll just use some basic uh, balls of coring again. Unless this, these guys decide they want to go with foam core, which is really the best way to go. Um, and honestly, I wouldn't have to bother with any of the, the other extra stuff here. But, uh, in any case, if you made it this far, go ahead and like this video. Love this video. Um, subscribe down below or up above, wherever that's at. And um, you'll get notifications for all these jobs as they move along. Um, I'm going to continue chopping away at this thing. And... Uh, I'll make a video once I get the glass and all that. So again, I appreciate you watching. Uh, go ahead, subscribe, like all that good stuff. Appreciate it. Thanks.